Hey guys, this is the tutorial for the MOSFET board kit for any flywheel nerf blaster. So this makes any flywheel uh, nerf blaster super easy to mod, even easier than micro switches now. So let's see what's included. First off, you get the MOSFET board all assembled. It has all the proper protection you'll need uh, to, pr to protect your motor's battery and the board itself. It's also um, Arduino ready, so if you want to maybe do some select fire or PWM with your Arduino, you can use this guy, which I'll make a tutorial on in the future. Uh, you get two JST connectors, a rocker switch, or a slider switch actually. A rocker switch can be used, but it's not included. A jumper cap, and an XT60 connector, a male one, which you'll need to uh, connect to your motors. So let's see how to do this. Well, first off, there are some parts you need that aren't included, including a battery. I'm using a light bulb for this one motors and the wire and the uh, heat shrink and the cage and all the parts you need for the motor cage and also uh, some sort of switch that goes behind your rev trigger i recommend a stock switch although really any switch can be used stock switch requires zero modification zero shell modification while if you want to use a higher amperage cherry switch or those arm runs or whatever uh, you'll need to cut off the shell a little bit so let's get started first thing you want to do uh, is to solder your uh, JST connectors to your slider switch and your stock switch. So once you do that, it will look something like this. Uh, you also might want to heat shrink it since the connections are super close together, which is not included. So for the slider switch, using the one included, you want to solder uh, one of the wires to the, to the middle pin and to either the left or the right pin, it doesn't matter. Uh, it also doesn't matter which, which one goes where, it just matters that at least one wire is on the middle one and another wire is on the either side. Uh, same thing with the stock switches. You'll want one in the middle and one on uh, the right side, actually. That one, that one matters. You want to solder to the common and the normally open tab of your switch. And again, it doesn't matter uh, which one goes where. It just matters that uh, one of the wires is on the common and the other wires on the normally open. So once you have those, uh, you want to plug it into the MOSFET board. So there's these two um, JT connectors. That you just put them in like that, connect them in. Uh, they snap into place, and you can't, it's hard to pull them off. Uh, also note that if you want to extend the wire, it's too short for you, you can simply solder some more wire onto here, and that would work perfectly fine. Remember to heat shrink those connections though. So get one for the red trigger, and get one for the optional master switch. So this uh, slider switch will be used as a master switch. So when it's flicked uh, one way, and you pull the red trigger, Nothing happens, but if you um, uh, pu push it the other way, and then you rub the red trigger, uh, the motors will spin up. Uh, I've been re requested this feature uh, enough time for me to add it, and it's super simple. It's also optional too, which I'll go over how to remove it if you don't want it. So uh, first off, I'll just go to, go to assembly using the switch, the master switch. So once you plug it in, same thing as the uh, rev trigger switch. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you put it in. Just pull on them to make sure they're tight, and they're tight, they're not coming out. So the next step is to get uh, your motors. These can run any motors you want, from your Kronos 2s to your uh, Michelle Chupinos on any crush or any cage. So you plug it in. Uh, make sure you plug it into the green and red one. Uh, this one will be a female connector going to the motors, so you have a male connector that connects to your motors. That is, this one's included right here. So this one won't be able to go to the battery one. It's kind of stupid proof, but then once you plug it in, uh, make sure you plug them to the correct one. Make sure your uh, motors are oriented correctly so they don't spin the uh, wrong way. So you plug them in. And last step, get your battery and you plug it into the last connector. Uh, you can't plug in the motor, the motor connector to the battery connector. You can't connect the battery connector to the motor connector. Uh, so make sure red, red, black, black. The motor connectors, oh, the battery connector is also uh, black and red. So you plug that in. And you're ready to go. So, let's see. And there we go. That's how, that's how simple it was. Now, let's say you don't want the master switch. Maybe it's not, it's not for you. So simply, uh, unplug the rocker switch, or the slider switch actually. Yeah, the slider switch. And put it to the side. You don't, you don't need this at all anymore. Uh, and then you can also use you put the jumper uh, jumper cap right here. It's a little small piece. This guy, 
and then you just plug it into those two little uh, metal part, those connectors on in the JST connector. Super simple, just slide it in like that, and boom. Now you don't need this anymore. It, the board operates solely on the rev trigger. Now it doesn't matter which one you put it in, just make, make sure that you have the jumper cap in one and the stock switch in the other, and a switch in the other. Let's try it again with the rev trigger. Oh, yep, make sure to plug in your battery. Yeah. That way it's polarized, so you, know, you don't worry about reverse polarity or anything. And. There we go. That's how to install your new MOSFET board kit. You can purchase one in the link in the description below for $10. And thanks for watching. That's it.